It was during the late afternoon that Bouldry awoke. He remembered the powder that the mother said. Opened the cupboard, and among them, there were still a lot of buckwheat, flowers, fruits, and various foods were in the bags. Bouldry made Mary awake and they ate the powder. Then he burned a fire in the same way as Dad were in. They stayed idly for about 20 days. But one day, a voice came from the entrance as, Hello, somebody is here. Boudry thought that the dad came back at home, so he opened the door in a hurry. But there was a sharp, eyed man with a basket on his back. The man took out round rice cakes from inside the basket and threw it and said, I came to save the famine of this region, so please do not hesitate to eat this. Although they were puzzled for a while. Come on. Eat this. The man said again. The man was watching them peacefully when Boudry and Mary started to eat it with afraid. You are good children, but you cannot live just by being a good child. Boy is strong, even if you became alone, you could alive. Hey, girl, even if you are here, there is nothing to eat. Let's go to town with me. I'll let you eat bread every day. The man said so, and he lifted Mary, then put it in his basket while yelling, Hood. Ha, you, ha. He quickly left the house like the wind. <coughs> Mary cried as soon as she went outside. Boudry cried out as you are thief. Thief. And chased that man while crying. However, the man has already passed by the forest and is running on the other side of the grassland, and the cry of Mary only heard faintly from afar. <coughs> Boudry cried and yelled, chasing the man to the end of the forest, but at last he was tired and collapsed.